Hey Clifford kids, it's Dad. I'm in the car with Baby Drew. I don't know if we can see Baby Drew back there, but he oh, you can't see him behind the car seat. But he's there, trust me, he's there. <clears throat> and it is Saturday, getting close to lunchtime. Tommy is on uh, scouting for food, helping up pick up pick up food items today, which is great, serving others. We did tags last week, and now they're picking up, which works out really, really nice that we're able to help. Now we are on our way to go pick up kitties for lunch, which is kind of nice. We have Grandma and Grandpa Idaho in town. Always fun to, <clears throat> excuse me, cold and flu season, cold and sniffle season, definitely for sure. We are off to Little Shoot to go get kids. Touch like that, the, the camera angle change. Just thinking what to talk about today, and you know, it's been a, a hard week, lots of sick kids. Oh, gotta go back over here because I got a turn coming. Lots of sick kids in the Clifford household, which, you know, that's par for the course. <clears throat> Flu, H1N1, who knows what the, <clears throat> all that creeping crud was. But needless to say, uh, they are back on the road to uh, Wellville. Baby Drew's in the car. A little smoker's cough, but so much better than it was one night. He couldn't even sleep. The only way he could sleep is on uh, resting on my chest right here, which I ate up. I mean, I didn't get much sleep, but it was nice to be able to have a job that allows me a little bit of, a little bit of freedom, and I could stay home that day. So, thanks, job. But this week, really great news. A great uh, single mom friend at work got news that she is going to be moving into a house, which is just awesome. I mean, I know that she struggled and scraped and scrimped, and I know that she spends a considerable amount of time thinking and worrying and scheming and planning on how it's all going to work out. She spent the last year or so living with living with her parents and her and her. Uh, Little youngster son to try to save up some scratch for <clears throat> a down payment and thankfully she went and talked to somebody and got herself into a house which is just awesome I'm sure she cannot wait for it all to be over I know it probably looks like they have to spend oodles of money oh there's baby Drew with his little hack but home ownership is the best I hope she gets I don't know if she gets the $8,000 tax credit I'll have to ask her do you get the $8,000 tax credit she'll probably watch this um, but it's neat to see uh, somebody uh, who is struggling. Oh, i got to stop for a second. Emma, look who's on the corner here. I know Emma's not here. Look who's on the corner. There's the monkey. She always, she always asks about the monkey, and she'll talk about the monkey. So back to our regular scheduled program. It's great to see somebody... Uh, work so hard and get something and uh, because this person really puts family first and has had a lot of curveballs thrown at her and I think it's just awesome. So I appreciate that. I appreciate her friendship and getting through that and it's it's important. It's important to make sure you tell people that you love them and tell people that um, they're making good decisions and sometimes it's sometimes putting yourself second in the end you become number one. It's kind of weird how that, that that happens. We had a little mini conversation yesterday at lunch about it and <clears throat> how she puts her son in her family life before her own social life, which she would admit is probably at pretty close to zero. You know, no ha happy hours, no dates, nothing like that. But there will come a time when she can, uh, you know, when her son is probably not as much of a homebody as he is. He's got inter, you know, school activities, you know, friends, and we'll say, bye, Mom, I'm going out for the night, which means, okay, Mom can then go out for the night. Understandably, you know, when the sun is shining, make hay, and now's the time for family time. So, we're off to get kids, and then we're going to go with Grandma and Grandpa Idaho to lunch. Mystery lunch. Don't know where we're going. Got to talk to the little kitties at where our lunch place is going to be. 
I'm sure it'll be glamorous as all get out. Then I gotta go to a tuxedo shop and get sized and get measured because Aunt Nancy's getting married in November and I gotta wear a tuxedo. Mwah! Looking forward to that. But I love you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. um, so, great day. We will talk to you more when we get to the dinner place, the lunch place. Ciao, kids. Bye. Dad, you have to take me through some Go get it. I want to, I want to see it. you hear Emma? Could you please, Madeline, with sugar on top? Oh, we got to get in. Okay, hold on. One hey, Tommy, afterwards we'll do a Rubik's Cube on, on, on camera here. I will mix it up and then fix it with my eyes closed. Okay, mix it up. Dad, I'll do it in a second. Okay. It's a room excuse. Okay, mess it up now. No, I'm going to mess it up, then fix it with my eyes closed. No. You know what I mean? And we bring out rolls. Why waste your money? Chocolate milk coming and we're good. Chocolate milk, french fries, that's lunch. And she can have some of my man french fries. Either side of her. What? Neither am I, so. Pretty awesome. We'll get it started, okay? Who taught you how to do it? Casey, and I'll show you the checkered board. I like that one I can do. Okay, there's the checkerboard, right? Checkerboard. And I'll fix it. I'm not going to do panic because that's a little bit hard. We don't want to panic. And word, that's how I do my room. <laughs> word. Should I give that, should I put that up there? Okay, can you walk Baby Drew and smile for me? What does Baby Drew have? Oh, we're good. What are you playing with, Emma? What's that? <laughs> Let's see, play him. Shake him, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs>